Hey, what to do, Mo Game and Nation Mo Game and crew? It's almost that time. 2K21 is literally only about an hour away right now. And you know, I know a couple of people gonna have questions what build they should start off with. It's not about how you start, it's how you finish, but it is about how you start. And you know the game gonna be the same as 2K20, so we gonna play it safe. We are gonna go ahead and make a two-way build. You know what I'm saying? So last year I made this build a shooting guard, but since we want to get more badges and we can make point guards a little taller, we're gonna go ahead and make them a point guard this year. Right hand, left hand don't matter. Jersey number don't matter. Let's get right into it. You know what pie chart we want the best two-way pie chart there is. We're gonna go red and green, cause what else what we gonna do? I'm not finna walk into the record program and not be able to shoot. And you know we want speed. So first pie chart with the physical. And what you want to do, you want to max your top three, actually take that close shot down to 81, max driving and uh, driving, live, driving, dunk. And uh, defense, you're going to max your perimeter, your lateral, your steal, your block, and you're going to bring your defensive rebounding up to 70 to get you an even 20 defensive rebounding badges. So after that, we're going to go to playmaker you're gonna max your ball handling your pass accuracy and this year it's no quick draw but you still want to max your first two the top two in shooting always you're gonna bring your free throw up to about 88 and uh bring your post fade up one to give you 17 now 17 is more than enough shooting badges in this game you're gonna get yourself 11 playmaking badges 17 is more than enough in this game, y'all, because there is no quick draw. So having many points you was putting towards quick draw, you can subtract that off the number of shooting badges you usually have, and you're gonna be good. And for the body type, it really don't matter. You know, I prefer built, so that's what I'm going with. And let's go ahead and make him 6'5", because this build is really gonna play the two. We just made him a point guard so we can get them badges, you know what I'm saying? And that weight, uh, we want as much speed as possible since we are trying to be a lockdown. You know, we are two-way gang up in here. If you two-way gang, go ahead and leave two-way gang in the comments real quick. For that weight, you're going to want to go 178. That's where we can get the most speed without losing too much of the other shit. Wingspan, that's a little tricky. So, wingspan, you don't want to go max, but you want to go like two ticks below max. So, you really want to go like, uh... Yeah, that's two ticks. Yeah, that's two ticks. So you want to go 84.2. Yeah, 84.2. You still got enough shooting to hit. Remember, you are going to have 17 shooting badges. So you still going to be able to shoot, even with a 78. And that's going to, you know, go up once you get to 95 and 96 and shit. All that, all that good shit. That's what you want your wingspan to be. Take, take over. What else we going to get but lockdown? Come on, y'all. Now, it's going to say two-way mid-range shooter. But I just made this build on 2K20. It's a fucking perimeter lock. I guess they changed the name because it said, you know, the point instead of the two, or I don't know why they changed the name, but two-way mid-range shooter is what you get. This is a fucking perimeter lock. Do not be fooled. Take this hole into the wreck. You will see what I'm talking about. And you, we're gonna go ahead and get to these badges. We're not gonna waste y'all time. Let's start with the defense. The defense, you already know. Claps, Hall of Fame, Intimidator, Hall of Fame, Interceptor, Hall of Fame. We want to fuck up the other team's offense as much as possible. From that point, you can do whatever you want. I always had Chase down on any build I got. Go ahead, get that off ball pass. Matter of fact, let's switch it. Yeah, get that pickpocket up, off ball pass on Silver. Really, as long as you got clamps, Interceptor, and Intimidator Hall of Fame, it's really, you know, you, you pretty much locked down at that point. And uh, all the other shit is just extra. I like disrupting the offense, so, you know, I like off-ball piss. I like pickpocket, you know, get you some rips and shit. Chase down artists, you know, on the fast break defense and shit. Oh, shit, I got one left. Um, I guess it really don't matter where I put this. Rim protector, I don't want to really put it on the guard, but chase down artists, definitely. Trapper, I don't think trapper works. That's just my personal opinion. You can put your chase down artists up to see or you can put your off-ball piss up to guard. It don't matter. Let's get to that playmaking. You know you want diamond. We, be, we all about being good teammates out here. You want that bailout. You want unpluckable. You want downhill and need a threader. Actually, take that down. Yeah, let's even those up. Yeah. That's how you want to do your playmaking. It's really up to you and your play style. But this is just how I set mine up. Range extender, Hall of Fame. Hot zone hunter, Hall of Fame. Corner specialist, silver. Catch and shoot gold, green machine, gold. Still got one left. Yeah, see that, see that quick draw? I usually got my quick draw on gold, so I had an extra one I didn't know what to do with. 
to be honest it really doesn't matter what you do you get 17 badges you already got the important ones you could do that i really don't recommend dead out though because dead out kind of like encourages you to take bad shots you really only take open shots we all about being good teammates out here if you ain't got an open shot past the ball this is how you win games y'all so yeah leave dead out alone you could actually put all the rest of these up yeah i can put all the rest of these up to go i'm trying to make sure yeah okay just put all of them put all of them on gold that's enough look you're gonna be shooting that hole it does not matter y'all it just is not complicated it's the same as last year now for finishing it really don't matter what the hell you do <laughs> you only got three badges i did not i had one finishing badge on my perimeter lock last year and you know he was still finishing when he shouldn't have and all that kind of shit. That's just because finishing was so OP last year. So we're going to assume it's going to be the same this year. Get you silver, contact, and bronze, what you call it. You know, get you a jumper. And that's it. That's all it is to it, y'all.